The process of designing a website can be quite frustrating, especially if you have to design certain parts of your websites over and over again each time you design a website. So what I've done is I've come up with a brand new template called the Genesis template, which works with a Divi theme. So let me show you how it works and show you all the features and how you can start using it on your own projects. So this template actually works on any type of website. So as you can see here, we have a brand new install of WordPress. So if you're building multiple websites, you would need to actually go in here, design the header, design the footer, every single time you design a brand new website. So this template is gonna cut that process, uh, that uh, time you take to design the website really, really short by importing that template every time you design a brand new website. So let me show you how it works. So over here is my DV website. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and then I'm gonna come all the way down here to DV and then click on a theme builder. So in fact, you know what? Let's have a new tab open here so you can see what is happening. So this is what we currently have. So what you need to do first thing is to import the template. So I'm gonna come over here, click on portability, click on import. So before I can actually import this, I've already gone ahead and downloaded this template onto my uh, computer. So I'm gonna come over here and it's in my downloads folder and here it is. Genesis template. Now this template here consists of uh, the dark and also the light mode. So depending on the type of website you want to build, you can always go in and choose which template you wanna go with, either the dark or the um, light template. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use the dark template. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this drop down, and you can see here, these are my two templates, the dark and the light theme. All right, so over here now, I'm just gonna drag it into this area here, which says choose file. Now you notice here we have these two options, override the default website templates, allow import to override existing assignments. That's exactly what you need to do. Leave these two on. And also you may want to go ahead and download a backup before importing, just in case something, uh, when something goes wrong. All right, so in this case, I don't have a template, so I'm just gonna leave that unchecked. Next, I wanna click here on import DV theme builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And in a few moments, this template will be imported onto our website. So as you can see here, we have the header, the footer, the 404 page, and the search results page. All right, so now that we have all this set, all I have to do now is to click on save changes. Now let's take a look here at our website. I'm gonna refresh this and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna refresh this. Okay, so straight away, you can see we have a, a footer here. It looks very, very minimal. And you can always go in here and change all these links in a moment. I'll show you how to change that. And on the top here, you can also see that we, we have all our links. But of course, since this is a brand new website, it doesn't have all the links that we need here on the menu. So we need to create our menu first, and then we also need to add our logo. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I am going to come back over here to my dashboard. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to come over here to my settings and click on general. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just to add a tagline, but in this case, I'm just gonna add some lorem text and our site name here as well is important. So you might as well add your site name. But in this example, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. All right, so now that we have that all set, I'm just gonna save changes. Now we need a page which is going to be assigned to our homepage so that when everyone, uh, when people come to our website, they can see that homepage. So we need to create that homepage and also other pages for our menu. Let's go ahead and do that. So over here now, I'm gonna come here to pages, click on add new. So my first page here is going to be called home. So let me just close this and let me add my title here. So I'm just gonna click on publish. So at the moment, I'm not gonna add anything here. Next, let me add another one. So this time let's add contact. I'm gonna publish that. All right, so I've just added two pages. Next, I'm gonna come over here to settings, click on reading. So over here now, we need to set our homepage as the homepage that we've just created. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this drop down, and choose my home as my homepage, save changes. 
Now it's time to create our menu. So if we take a look here at our website, so I'm just gonna open this in a new tab so you can see what is happening. You can see here we have contact, home, uh, sample page and uncategorized. So what we need to do here is to create our menu by coming over here to appearance, click on menus. So over here, we're gonna call this main menu. And then I'm gonna come over here, click on view all so I can see all my pages here. But before I can add these to the menu, I have to create it first. So I'm gonna click here on create menu. So now my menu has been created and now I can add all my pages. So I'm gonna click here on view all so I can see all my pages. And now you can select which page you want to add over here. So now that I have those two selected, I'm gonna click on add, uh, add to menu. Now they're added. And then finally for this menu to start working fine, you just need to assign it to the primary menu, click on save menu and pretty much our menu is done. The next stage now after this is to add our logo because as you can see here, we don't have a logo. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come back over here now. So to add our logo, you need to come over here to Divi, theme options, and then I'm gonna come over here to upload. Now, when you use the dark mode, it's very, very important that you also use a light logo because we need to make sure there's a balance of contrast. If you're on a dark background, you need a light logo. If you're on a light background, you need a dark logo. So that's exactly what we need to do here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and click on select files. So now I'm gonna look for my logo and it is somewhere here on my computer. Okay, so here are the logos. So here's the light one, I'm gonna select it, click on open. So now my logo can be set as the logo for my whole website. All right, so now that I have that all set, the next thing to do now is to just click on save changes. And now if I come over here and refresh this page, you'll notice that we'll have a logo down here. So I'm gonna refresh this. And there we go, now we have our logo and we also have a logo all the way here at the top. So now it's time to add content onto our website. So to do that is pretty much uh, just going in and adding all your content as we normally do with our DV Builder. So in this example, I'm just gonna go in and add a pre-made layout. So I'm gonna click here on edit page, edit with DV Builder. So now I'm gonna come over here and choose a pre-made layout. So the layout I'm gonna go with is, let's have a look here. So I'm gonna go with this one here, the SaaS company. Click on use this layout. All right, so my layout has been imported and now I can just save this. Now for us to actually view this template, in uh, action, we need to log out of this. So I'm gonna come over here, click on log out. And then I'm just gonna go onto the home page. So now when we take a look at our page here, when I scroll up, you can see that it shrinks a little bit. And I can go all the way down to my bottom here, to the bottom here. And here's our footer. And as you can see here, it's very clear when you mouse over these links, uh, you can click on any of these links and this can take you to whatever page you've assigned this to. And, ov and over here, we also have our social media icons. And all the way to the top here, we also have a search bar. So let me search for something here so you can see the results page. So again, this is part of the template. So this is going to be a results page. So if there's something that I've actually searched here, on the website, it will show right here on the bottom. And also there's one thing I also wanna show you and that is a 404 page. So let's say someone tries to go on a page that doesn't exist. So I'm just gonna type in some gibberish here because I know that page doesn't exist. So this now is our error page. So this is all part of the template. So if I click here on go to home page, this will just take me back to the home page. So this is how the template works. It works on pretty much any type of website and you can also customize it. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to go in and customize it to uh, change the colors perhaps to match the colors of your branding. So let me show you how to do that. So now over here, I have to log back in for me to make those changes.
All right, so to make changes to that template, all you have to do is to come over here to Divi, Theme Builder, and then you want to click here on this pencil icon. And now you can actually go in and change these colors. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon on my section settings. And I can start here by coming to the background. And as you can see here, we have so many colors to choose from. So let's say I want to use a light gray. I can go ahead and choose that. And you can see here that that color has been applied. So it's very, very easy to go in and customize. But of course, I'm not going to use that. I'm just showing you how it works. Let's say you want to change the footer color or the footer uh, information. All you have to do is to come over here on Edit Footer. And then over here now, you can go in into any of these modules. For example, here, we can click on this gear icon. So let's say you want to add a link to the home page. You can just highlight it here. Click on this little chain icon and add your link to the home page. Then just click OK. Do the same for the About Us, Services, Gallery, and Contact. And also here, you can change these to whatever you want. So instead of having here Gallery, you can change this to maybe Portfolio, like that. And you can see it's been updated here on our footer. Once you're done with that, click on Save. And then over here as well, we can make things slightly bigger. We can change the sizes. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, make changes here to my logo, but I'm unable to do that because of this row setting. So to have access to that, all you need to do is to click here on the bottom on expand settings and then click here on wireframe mode. Now over here now, this is where you can click here on the image, flip over here to the front end editor, and now you can go into design, you can go into alignment, for example. You can make you know your changes here, however you want. And pretty much this is how you make changes to this. So if I save that. Social media icons, same thing. If you want to link these social media icons to your social media channels, you can just click on this gear icon and click here on Facebook. Here's the link. You can paste your link over here. Once you're done, go back, go into the next one here on the Twitter, for example. Add your link over here. And this will link you to wherever you want to link to. And if you want to add more links or more social media uh, channels, all you have to do is to click here, let's say, for example, on LinkedIn. You can just change it to something else. So let's say you want to add Pinterest here. You can just click here on this Pinterest. Save that. Save it one more time. And it's all updated. So... All the other stuff here is all dynamic. So here, when you get to 2021, this will change automatically. And this logo as well, if you put a light logo, this logo will be updated on your website. Now, this template is only $7. The link to that is in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out uh, to support this. I'll also be updating it if there's any issues that you may be having with this template. So appreciate it if you uh, buy it. So that's all I have for you in today's video. I'd like to hear your feedback about this template. Uh, show me how you're work, uh, using this in your designs. Uh, just leave me a link in the comments box so I can also check it out and see how you are applying this template onto your designs. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.